Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to tell you few words that you must use and replace when you are trying to say very, very often. So what I mean is guys, there is no harm in using very, firstly. And then if you use it, use it repetitively, then is the problem. Because in IELTS speaking, we tend to use certain statements. And if you are using one word, very often then it bores the listener you know it impacts the listener in the bad way for example what i am going to teach you in this video is you say very beautiful but i'll give you a word gorgeous that you must use now to understand why do we use very so very is used so that you convey your intense emotion or intense state or an intense personality like if i am saying very beautiful I mean the person is like so attractive, so heart throbbing. But when I say beautiful, I mean the person is very pretty, very good looking. So do you understand the difference? When I'm using very, it intensifies the situation. For that guys, I have list of 10 words in this video. And let's get started without any delay. So when we say very cold, the word that you can use is freezing. Freezing. That's the pronunciation. So next time when you say it's very cold in the month of December, say it's freezing in December. Very bad. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. The destiny is very bad or the destiny treated him very bad. Instead say the destiny treated him very unfortunately. Very shallow. Depthless. Depthless. That's the pronunciation. It means the swimming pool is very shallow. Instead say, the swimming pool is depthless. There's a very like small height of the swimming pool. There's no lot of depth in the swimming pool. That's what it means. The next word is very rash. You can say daring. Daring. The person drives very rashly. The person drives in a very daring manner. Which means he's very courageous, ready to take up any challenge and quite rash and quite quick in his action. The next word is very calm, which means peaceful. Peaceful. Meditation makes his mind very calm. Meditation makes his mind peaceful. One word, you know, it reduces your efforts. So why do you use two words every time? Use one word. The next word is very intelligent, brilliant, brilliant. He is very intelligent. He's brilliant, very happy, joyful. I was very happy on my birthday. I was joyful on my birthday. Very formal. Like in IELTS test, we have to be very formal. In IELTS test, we have to be conventional. Instead of formal, very formal, say conventional. So next word is very forceful, assertive, assertive. His landlord's speech is very forceful. His landlord's speech is assertive. The next word is very few, meager, meager. In the basket, there were very few bananas. In the basket, the bananas were meager. So guys, if you like this video and you can learn these 10 words very quickly and easily, do try using them in your IELTS conversation, especially the speaking part or the writing part. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.